conservative new media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Well, we have a bona fide mystery here. Something that is as yet unexplained, although we have found out just a little bit more about it. Now, there's a lot of books that have mysteries surrounding them, and there's a lot of codes and ciphers and cryptology that have uh, expanded across the ages for different various reasons, whether it's secret societies, whether it's military uses, or whatnot. This is one of the most profound and perplexing one of them all. I'm talking about the Voynich Manuscript. Some have said this is written in a quote-unquote alien type of language. It has never been cracked. It has been attempted to be cracked by many, many people, including experts. It is currently owned by Yale, the original. There are other copies. The original is owned by Yale right now. And this was discovered in the early 1900s in Rome. They have placed now via carbon-14 dating. There's new dating here that it has now been placed somewhere between 1404 and 1438. This is the early Renaissance period. Now, it's not the oldest book in the world, but it is one of the oldest books in the world, and it is even older than the Gutenberg Bible. Okay, that was the first um, big book printed on the modern uh, uh, printing press type of, uh, of process. Now, what is so interesting and bizarre about this is that they have languages and sentences in here, and we link to it below in the description. You can see it. We even have copies of it via Yale that we've linked there. You can see every page of this thing. And they have sentences and paragraphs that would appear to be clear writing that, as some have said, has done, was done in a, um, a confident way that this, whoever was, was doing this was very familiar with what they were doing. Some of this appears to be Latin. Other of it, I think, I may have gotten this wrong. Um, well, no. Some of it appears to be Latin. But there are also illustrations in there. And it, some of the illustrations looks like maybe uh, are they talking about herbology, alchemy, is some of it due to astrology. There's all kinds of different things in there. And that leads a lot of people to figure out, to, to come back and say, okay, is this A, some kind of extremely strong crypt or a, 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 a um, code, cipher or whatnot? It, do you need some kind of other mechanical device or some kind of code book to be able to really break this thing? Nobody's been able to get anywhere on this. That's number one. Okay, so is it a hardcore code or, 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 or uh, type of situation? Number two, is it, is it an elaborate hoax? Is it all just a sham and gibberish and meaningless? The problem with that is nobody's been able to duplicate this. If it were a hoax, you'd think, well, we can duplicate it and therefore prove it. Nobody's been able to duplicate any part of this, from what I understand. And check the description down there with all the stuff. The third option is, is this some sort of alien or ancient language or method of communication that we don't know anything about? What kind of implications does this bring up? This is truly one of the world's most perplexing and interesting mysteries. And the discussion goes on even today. This is one of the most bizarre and mysterious books in the world. We have the images right down there. And I'm asking you, what do you think this is? Is this an ancient civilization, an ancient language that is lost and now rediscovered? Is this some kind of alien, uh, quote unquote, alien code? Is this an elaborate hoax? Is this just some kind of secret society or some kind of code that we just can't break? What do you think is going on here? You need to study it because this is not some sort of passing situation here. This is serious. It's intense. It is a real life mystery from the ages. We brought it to you here. We have new information. When it was dated around, around the Renaissance period, absolutely fascinating. And I also want to know, what do you think this book is about? Is it some kind of alchemy book? Is it some kind of... Um, uh, um, uh, paranormal book? Does it have some kind of mystical power?
powers or value? Is it just some kind of joke? It, does it have religious tones? Is it astrology? What is this book? It's very, very interesting. That's what makes it so fascinating is because we do not know, but it's real life history. It's in Yale. People are studying it. They're still working on this and nobody's gotten anywhere with it. Very fascinating. For Conservative New Media, I'm John D. Valero. Check the description, rate this video high, post it on your Facebook, and subscribe above. Thank you very much. We're reporting for Conservative New Media. I'm John D. Valero. And we'll see you next time.